Good evening, guys. This is your boy Tinashe ZW, and I'm going to take you through the process that I use or I take when I'm creating a gospel instrumental. Okay. Uh, sorry, my chair is acting up today. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to take you through the process that I take uh, when I'm making gospel beats using FL20. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also expect to get more. Okay. So, I'm going to be using FL20. And this is my jaw. Alright. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is to set my speed. So, I'll go in the tempo here. Okay, that's a good tempo that I might choose. Oh, no, that one is too too fast. Let me go down here using the wheel bar. Alright, I don't have any melody at the moment, so I'm trying to think what I can make. Maybe I would like it at 115. Okay, so I got that one. Now I'm going to um, try and put that into the keyboard. So let me look at what I'm going. I'm going to be using this speed and these beats that are playing. At the, uh, you're hearing those knocking sounds. Okay, that is going to be the guide to what I'm going to be playing. All right, on my keyboard, I'm using a Keystation 61 MK3. So yeah, um, let me go and try and add. Um, a plugin uh for let me say i will start with citrus and let me look for a proper uh instrumental inside citrus mm, on the keyboards piano 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 let me start with uh, fm rods let me see yeah it's sounding it's sounding good so i think i can use this one for gospel it's like it's a good sound that i can use now i need to put what i was doing into the system all right so i will have to check on the bars here it should be on step so that it sits on the line not in between the line because sometimes it's on nine there you know you see there's different uh bits here that you can put but what you want is for it to sit on the line when you are playing it right so that you don't have to struggle to put it back on the line so i put it on step then i come here into the uh this section i check on snap again is it on step i put it on step as well so i've got step here we've got step here as well so whenever we're going to record it's going to fall exactly on um the section that we want all right so now we have fm job let's try to do fm rods let's try to do what i was doing by the mouth by, by, by the mouth right right that's the first three chord progression that i was going to make failed on that, that one let me try again all right now i'm going to try and follow that um beat one two three go one two three go nice so now i'm going to put that into the fm rods and let me see how it's going to come out like okay i'll go here on the record i press the record already here i've selected fm rods so i'll go here and press the record button and then go to everyone everything everything is going to record what i'm going to play uh live on the keyboard it will record it straight into this fm rods section of the piano okay so if i press here it's I mean here, but I have to play here so that it starts recording. And I'm going to get those three notes here. One, three, two, one, go. Then on the after the fourth bit, I will start playing there as well. It will be recording in the keyboard section, piano row here. All right. So now it's ready. Let's try and put that into uh, something. Right. One, two. 
3, go! Right, I think it came out nice. So they've got different uh, volumes here. You hear when we start playing it now, so it's going to the seventh bar. It is okay like that, okay? Uh, because that's where the melody is going to. So let's play and hear what we just played. Let's remove this recording. skeleton we have a melody uh, so from that melody I'm not gonna do much here let me just reduce some of the high 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 volumes here and try to put them uh, at reasonable like we don't want notes that just go high very high than any other note they have to play uh, in a style that they're not making noise but they're just you know playing like uniform uh, of course we will have some that that are high but they don't have to be very high some that are low but they don't have to be very low okay so some of them you see they are uh, different on different volumes it's okay like that sometimes because that live feel of the instrumental will make it uh, a bit you know life <laughs> yeah something like that we need we need that sometimes it's, a, it's something that spices up the instrumental all right so let's hear again <laughs> Let's try to get Let's go to uh, put some kicks. I'm gonna look for a basic kick. I I I I prefer most of the times I prefer to use this kick here on other kicks. Lean. I prefer this one. Just got you know, just a, a simple kick. Then I open here and I'll try to adjust the. The, the attack I want to remove the attack so that it just hits hits then I try to reduce the velocity right the delay the hold what a hard kick right like go, 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 go. right then let's try and put it on each four steps
to create a, just a clean kick. Let's try to look for some, some heads. I'm trying to look for something that can go for the US. Copy this shift, we click and drag. See here, uh, maybe here. Let's see. All right, shift, control, alt, copy, and drag. Copy, go put it here.
up, we're beating it up. Okay. So I'm going to go into purity and I'm going to look for something like um, Bupex, Kalimba, something like Marimba or something like that. something that we can uh, try and do um, putting that karimba can give that uh, rhythm to the um, to our instrumental okay so we are trying to create a melody that sinks all right so let me go here and try and open piano row here right let's play and here now we, we it's either we can play it or we can try to pick pick some notes from the piano roll. let's try and uh, raise the, the volume here simple we don't want things that are you know complicated at the moment we'll do that we'll spice up later on or later version but we just want to create a rhythm that can sync okay using these um default plugins all right so i've already selected my right let me go to everything then when i play i'm going to record that into my piano So it is recorded. 
right so let's hear what it recorded <music> go in and try to spice it up because now we have the best of what we are trying to create okay so you can now go in and try to spice it up with this and also reduce some volumes and you know try to make it just uh, give you that feel of a gospel instrument <laughs> to you know the melodies to be had right so we go uh here and we can reduce the volume here you could pan them and then you could feel uh each after the patterns have come out nicely okay but now we have uh some patterns only have two patterns but they are actually playing in a good sync okay <laughs> Basically, we have had our rhythms. Let's try and see if we can find something just to spice up. Let me go to the 
applications and see if we could get something that is good. Uh, I'm sure we can find something here. to make noise right okay okay so let me put this into and try and uh, Sounding nice. Okay, let's go and uh, record it. Right, two, three, go. Right, let's go and listen what we have uh, recorded so far. is coming nicely right so so for now we've had um, our first phase of this so today we're going to leave it here then in my next video we'll continue from here going forward to give this uh, gospel track, um, you know, um, some life, a good feel. All right. So this is your boy Tinashe ZW, and you have, have if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and expect to get more from me because I will not stop here. I'll keep on creating some stuff that would help some of you who are still beginners and trying to uh, earn a living or try to enjoy this thing of making music, you know. So yeah, this is just a gospel trick that I started from scratch today. I will continue it in my next video. Okay, cheers.